in America today, capitalism isn't working for two thirds of the people. If you have a college degree, uh, things are going very well. But without a college degree, what we're seeing is mortality rates, for example, stopped falling altogether and have, have actually risen since the late 1990s, being driven in large part by deaths from alcohol, from suicide, from drug overdose. And underneath the body count, what we're seeing is increases in pain, increases in uh, reports of serious mental distress, uh, increases in social isolation. And uh, we trace it to 50 years of wage stagnation for men in the US. We think what's happening is that the healthcare industry is like a cancer that's eating the US economy from the inside out. So employers who, if they have to pay for the health insurance for a worker who has a family, an insurance policy costs $20,000 a year. Now, if the worker is only worth about $40,000 a year to the company, they don't really care whether they're paying the worker workers' wages or if they divide it between wages and health insurance, but that only leaves them about 20 k they could pay the worker if they have to pay the in health insurance too. So we see the contracting out that's taking place of jobs, lower skilled jobs, as being a direct result of the extraordinarily high uh, health care costs in the U.S. today. You don't have any sense now that people can start out in the motor pool and if they work hard and they're smart, then they finally get a job behind the desk. And from there, if they're good, they might move into administration and they're on their way up. Those kinds of jobs don't, aren't available anymore to low skill workers. And it's largely because they're being cut from these firms just to try to divorce uh, the health insurance costs that those workers represent uh, from the bottom line of the company.